Hello! My name is Navigator, and this is going to be quite a long video because we are going to be reviewing an AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection figure, that being the icon Sting. Uh, really quickly, I just finished watching um, AEW All In 2024, and man, it was awesome. It was really sweet. We actually even got to see an appearance from Sting himself. Uh, I don't mean to spoil it at all, but if you guys haven't checked out any clips or anything from the, uh, that event, that pay-per-view AEW All In, I definitely suggest going and checking it out because it was a great show. But that's really pretty much it. Uh, something else about this figure is that it is hitting stores right now. It is uh, towards the end of August 2024 and uh, these things are kind of just hitting stores now. I only picked up one of these because uh, I wanted to save a couple more for some other collectors in my area. I was just fortunate enough to get this when they hit shelves. And uh, yeah, so there we go. This thing is pretty rare, at least right now. Um, so make sure that you're you know, keeping your eyes online for it or in stores. But with that being said, finally, let's unbox this figure. I did cut the tape on the top here, so we're just going to see what we can just slide out and uh, I'm take apart just doing that. So let's see if we can open this guy up. And beautiful. Oh, all right, well, good thing that was the soft goods. Nothing really too important. We do have three different compartments with Supreme figures. We have the figure one itself, and then two different compartments for accessories. This is what the rest of the packaging looks like. Uh, you can't really save this uh, background thing there, which I wish you could, but the packaging is pretty sweet. Here's what you got going on in the back. And then I think, I wonder who is that? Is that Undisputed Kingdom? No, it's 2021. I wonder who that is. Maybe it was Ethan Page, actually. I think that is his armor, but there, or not armor, his ring gear. But there you go, that's the back. Toss that to the side. And let's see how neatly we can get all of this out of there. We'll take off the front cover. And then let's see if we can kind of just, can we grab him? Oh yeah, sweet, we can just grab him by the soft goods and just pull him right out of there. He does come with a lot of really cool accessories, and we will, of course, touch on all of those in just a second here. Throwing that to the side, we'll take apart this soft goods compartment. It seems like he has two extra sets of t-shirts, so we will grab those out of here if we can. Oh, I really, all I had to do was pull off this top part here, and then get both of those out. We'll dump those, throw that piece to the side, and then finally here, another area, it comes with some extra hands, and some extra heads as well. What I'm really looking forward to is uh, maybe later this year or early next year, we are going to be getting a, uh, it's like, I think it's like a three pack where it's a bunch of different Sting figures from throughout the years. So you kind of have Surfer Sting, you've got like the Crow Sting, I think, and then like some kind of modern Sting. But I really want to see the AEW version of the Crow Sting. And actually, I'm right within reaching distance of the figure that I'm mentioning, and I love it. So I'm just going to pull it out right now and hell, might even be nice to kind of have this here for reference. But they are going to be making a uh, Jazzwares version of this, I guess, Defining Moments Crow Sting from WWE Elite. Very much looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. Cannot wait for that. Um, and what else? We also saw yesterday announced was the, uh, the what is it? Sting the Ripper, like his entrance from last year's All In, and man, that thing looks really cool. But here we go. Here's the figure. I'm going to take apart these accessories, and then we can kind of view them, uh, you know, on their own. Let's see if we can get this jacket off. I'm praying that there's no staining. I'm, I'm, I think that with Supremes, they really do try to take uh, care and make sure that there is no staining, but a little loose. A little loose, at least in the torso, but it's not that bad. I think the articulation will make up for that. Uh, okay, let's get started on this. So, the hands that he has equipped are going to be the uh, the grappling hands, the Lego Man hands, as I like to call them. But he also comes with these hands as well, kind of just like these open ones. And these, of course, have the black gloves on there with the scorpion, uh, I don't know, detail, design, whatever you want to call it. Decal, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But those look great. Love those. And it's really cool. You can actually see the attention to, like, the leather on it. You know, you can see, like, the, the stipling there, whatever it's called. Next up here, we do have the fisted hands, as a lot of these wrestling figures come with, especially Supreme. You're going to find all variations of stuff, but those look great as well. The same scorpion logo on there. Uh, next up here, we do have one of the head sculpts, which is actually pretty Pretty cool. I guess you call this like jack-o'-lantern sting. He's kind of got the, the jack-o'-lantern stuff going on there around the mouth. Looks pretty cool though. I do like that one a lot. Next up here, we kind of have like a smiling sting or something like that. That's probably right after he just whoops somebody's butt in a funny way. Something like that, but just kind of a smiling sting. Maybe even Joker sting. You grab some paint and make a custom head sculpt with that. And then of course the final head sculpt we'll take a look at when we see the uh, figure. But next up here, we do, oh, I dropped it. 
Sting's old gimmick, you know, he wears the, the Sting mask, and then it turns out that is Sting underneath, but there you go. Just a Sting mask. You can even use this for your crowd. You can put it on one of these figures here. That'd be kind of, actually, that'd be really cool. If I don't end up using that, I'm going to do this. Or, uh, excuse me, if I don't end up using this, I'm going to do that. I apologize, mumbling my words here. What else do we have here? Went over the heads and the hands. We have a baseball bat here, which doesn't seem to be a whole lot different than the other ones we've got, although it is pretty sturdy, I will admit. Some of those other ones kind of bend really easily. This is a really sturdy bat, so that won't be bending anytime soon. Very nice to see that. And then we also have this soft goods leather jacket. It doesn't look like this is the same material. This is like a very thin, I don't know what you'd call it, like linen or satin, I have no idea. But it's a very smooth kind of fabric, very different from the usual soft goods that we see. So I'm assuming that this one probably won't stain the figure. It is really cool though. Uh, you got some nice kind of Gold decaling, uh, kind of like buttons almost, you would say, down the front of the trench coat here. Some more uh, gold detailing around the collar and around the, uh, I guess, the cuffs of the jacket. And then on the back here, we do have a red scorpion design, which is really cool. And you can see that this jacket is leather, at least faux leather, I should say. Uh, but yeah, so there's the accessories. And then finally here, we can take a look at the figure itself. And this figure is awesome. Of course, it has the supreme uh, articulation. So we have double jointed arms, double jointed elbows, all of that. And now that I'm thinking of it, we actually have those shirts to review too. We'll take a look at those after this. I'm already started on the figure. Down here though, got the normal kind of sting boots with the, uh, the toe joint, which is pretty cool. He's got the sting decal on either side of those boots. We've got the pants here. It's kind of got that like padded leggings going on here, which is really cool. I love that design and that, that kind of texture there. Then he's got two scorpions coming down either side of his gear. Moving on up to the singlet here, which looks great. And again, that scorpion design is carried up onto there. Really cool. Yeah, the skin tone looks great. Uh, of course, the double jointed, or excuse me, the uh, the butterfly arms there. He does have double jointed everything else, which is pretty sweet. And this is actually really cool. I love the Supremes. I, they're just so, they're far superior figures, obviously. You uh, you don't find the, what is it called? Yeah, the double jointed, the pinless double jointed elbows there, which look awesome. Hopefully they uh, continue this with the normal figures. That'd be great. And then finally here, we do have this screaming sting head sculpt. His paint is kind of chipped away, uh, almost like he's mid-match, something like that, or at the end of a match. But that looks really cool, I do have to say. What a great head sculpt. And the hair looks good, too. Yeah, this is a really great figure. The hands, I don't know if I touched on those, but those are the grappling hands, the gripping hands. Almost looks like he could carry, like, a pistol or a gun or something like that. But who knows? One thing I will say, though, is that the legs look a little too short. That's something that I notice with a lot of the Sting figures. But his legs just look a little too short compared to the rest of his body. But overall, that's awesome. So before I wrap it up, let's take a look at these other two accessories. Oh! We have a long sleeve Sting shirt. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that was long sleeve. So we have a long sleeve Sting uh, shirt, which most definitely will stain. I have a feeling this is totally going to stain with the Sting logo on there. And then we also have, uh, with a different logo, the uh, a Sting t-shirt as opposed to the long sleeve. So there we go, folks. This figure is kick-ass, I do have to admit. Uh, let me grab my other Sting that I have here. See if I can pull them out without causing any damage. Um, and I do have a different jacket that I found with some other figure that I had that I actually like better. And I'm just really worried about this one staining. So I think I'm just going to keep uh, using this jacket on the Supreme figure. But that's it, folks. That is all that I have for you. I guess I'll move the Defining Moments one up over here. We have a little bit of a evolution of Sting figures, I guess you could call it. But this was a review of the AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive Sting figure. As always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.